Hi everybody. Hello there. Jerry. And Linda. We're the village's newcomers. Try to bring you items of interest uh, to people that live in and around the villages and to senior citizens everywhere. Today we're in a special neighborhood. This is one we've been wanting to come to for a long time. Yes, it's gorgeous. You guys seem to like it when we take you through different neighborhoods and this one is really different. It's older, it's in the northern section uh, of the villages. It's just north of the Savannah Center, if you know where that is, up in the Spanish Springs area. It's called Harmswood of Bel Air. And it is probably 20 year old neighborhood, maybe something like that. Not exactly sure, but we understand that it's a neighborhood of strictly premier homes. Spacious lots, big homes. What's your first impression? Uh, <laughs> it's amazing. It's, it's spread out. You have lots of room. It's not crowded. You feel like your hometown. The yards are bigger. The houses are bigger. The landscaping is much more mature than you're going to find down south. Mm -hmm. A stark difference to Southern Oaks. A stark difference even to uh, the Brownwood area. Yes. Now the Brownwood area, trees are getting big. They are. They've they been are. there five years, six years, and uh, they're getting big, but not like these trees. We're going to take you on a tour of the neighborhood here and show you things, and uh, I'll talk to you along the way. And maybe she will too. Hello. We have just entered the gate, and we're going to take a right here, show you some of these homes. We'll come up and down both sides of the street so you can see. Boy, that's a pretty house, isn't it? Gorgeous. See a lot of side entrance garages here, which we don't see other places in the villages. A typical village is cul-de-sac. I see a white pickup truck. That's a serviceman of some sort. And possibly the other house has uh, visitors, so there are cars parked. You can see the caution tape. They have just painted that driveway. I've noticed since we came in here, there are quite a few houses with siding and I'm not talking vinyl siding I'm talking like clapboard siding or uh, bigger siding boy that's an unusual house it's a Cape Cod style and uh, the garage is on a kind of a diagonal to the house a very large house You can see the distance between the homes is quite large here in Harmswood. Big side yard over here that you're looking at. And it goes down to a nice little pond. Please, no fishing. I would like to fish in that pond. It's a beautiful pond. And a buffer between uh, that and the homes here. Lots of landscaping. Now, if you are wondering what these homes cost, I was too. So I went to Google and I Googled some of the addresses that are in this neighborhood and found zero homes for sale. But I did find that when they were for sale, the ones I looked at sold for 990,000, 880,000, around a million dollars. Now that won't be the case for all of the homes here. Look at that lovely little Cape Cod style home there. Big yard. Yes, and the trees, magnificent. Uh, live oak trees. 
see the satellite dish on that house, people wonder, can you have them here? Yes, you can. Hopefully you put them a little less prominently displayed than that one. Look at that, boy, that's a, a, just a beautiful setting for a home here. That's an estate. Be a rather expensive home. These homes are very unique. A lot of people talk about the villages where we live as cookie cutter homes. I love our home down there. I like the looks of the villages down there. These are very individual and uh, much more variety between the types of homes. This one would be more characteristic of what you would see in our neighborhood. I've seen multiple circular driveways. This one is uh, pavers, columns in the entryway there to the home. Another circular driveway. All along the street, they all, all the homes here on the street seem to have circular driveways. Fire hydrant in that home there, uh, in that yard. I've noticed in the villages, there are very conveniently placed fire hydrants, and that keeps your homeowner's insurance lower and uh, safer in case of a fire. The mature palm trees are amazing. Definitely a lot of Spanish influenced architecture up here in the Spanish Springs area. You can see the colors of all the homes are compatible with each other. I think I told you guys on an earlier video that we had uh, a blue house in our neighborhood before. Bright blue, cobalt blue, not uh, your pleasing blue. That was back in Indiana. I went back there um, last week, drove through my old neighborhood, which we loved and really was perfect for us for the 35 years we lived there. But I did not miss it at all. 35 years takes a toll on a neighborhood. Look at that agave plant. Is that what that is? Agave? I think it is. That is humongous. This house has one, two, a golf cart garage, car garage, car garage, four cars and a golf cart. got a second floor that's a little bit unusual. Second story homes are definitely rare in the villages, but there are a few. Look at that yard between the houses here. That's that uh, I believe you could put our house in there no problem. Do you think they could um, have gardens 
vegetable gardens here? Vegetable gardens have been okayed by the state of Florida. You, you can have veg, vegetable gardens. It's a cul-de-sac, we'll come back this way. The shade here is unbelievable from these trees. Shade is good, but they do drop leaves, these live oak trees. Here's a power washer. That's something we all need to do once in a while here in the villages. Taking care of that driveway. We love greenery and we like these uh, gardens like you find in New England, these courtyard gardens. And I'm seeing a lot of landscaping like that up here. Neatly trimmed shrubs in different designs and shapes. Look at that, we could have a big wiffle ball game in this yard. <laughs> Neighborhood yard sale. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's it's awesome, but is it for me? No, I don't want a big yard like that. Especially if I was doing my own yard work. Here's a, here's a two-story home. Yeah, that looks like a church. You know, it would be nice to live in a neighborhood where you couldn't hear your neighbor belch after dinner. I think that's for a large RV. Yeah. I'm just teasing. We, we don't hear a peep at our house. We, even though they're close together, they're well insulated and uh, we just don't, we don't have any disruptions, but I don't, we don't want any either. With landscaping like this, there probably comes a rather sizable water bill. I mean, our little postage stamp of a lot, you know, we, I think we, I told you for irrigation, we average about $33 a month. I wouldn't surprise me that these homes are over a hundred. We have an Aspen style home. We've told you that before. And we really like it. Would we like our own pool? I think we would. Would we like a better view with more privacy? I think we would like that too. Look at that. That's a nice colonial style home. But with a new home, or not a new home, but with a different home that would have a pool and a view. We're talking two or three hundred thousand dollars more than our home is worth, which would be a bigger mortgage or payment, which would be more taxes, and we'd more than likely have a bond. It would be interesting to know what the bond was on these homes back when they were new. I think he was practicing tennis. Pickleball. I think he was kung fu fighting. No. Whatever, he was doing it well. And with gusto. That's how I say, whatever you do, do it with gusto. Boy, this is a lovely area, isn't it? And again, no fishing. Oh, man. It says, please, no fishing. <laughs> they were being polite. Well, if it says, please, no fishing, it may mean that you can fish here, but we'd rather you not.
We're going to come down the other side of the street in just a moment. There is, are some beautiful homes on the, the opposite side. There's one somebody's moving into or out of. Village mover. Wow, that was a beautiful neighborhood. Spacious lots, big houses, lots of privacy, wooded areas, it's, it's gorgeous. I love it, I think it's uh, extremely well done, spacious for those of you that want privacy. I don't think it's for us though. I don't know if we- More house than we want, right? I mean, you went from four toilets to two. Yeah. How you like that? Love it. Here, you know, you're gonna have more than two toilets in every one of these houses. Yes. Um, you got a bigger yard. If you don't do it, you gotta pay to do it. <coughs> That's a blooper. Bless you. <laughs> well, we'll leave that in there. Um, <laughs> Sorry. You have more leaves. Yes. You got a bigger home to power wash. Mm -hmm. If you need a roof, you're gonna need a more expensive roof. You know, more uh, uh, bigger utility bills, the water bill, the irrigation bill, the heating bill, mm -hmm. cooling bill. Yeah, not so much the heating bill. Yeah. It gets plenty hot here. <laughs> but privacy, you can't put a price on that if it's something really important to you. Right. But anyway, if you're looking for a house and you want privacy, you want a big home, you want plenty of parking for your, your cars and golf carts and maybe an RV, check out Harmswood. Nothing for sale now. You have to wait. Sooner or later, though, something will turn up. Until next time. See you when you get here. <laughs>